The youth voice is lending strong support when it comes to political matchups on both sides of the aisle, not just nationally, but across the state of Minnesota. Polls show more than half of 18 to 29 year olds are planning to cast a ballot. KIMD News 3's Sorrell Correy hears from young voters at Riverland Community College in Austin. I'm right here at Riverland Community College in Austin, and I spoke with a couple students on their thoughts about voting and the election, and both of them have differing views on it. 19-year-old Samuel Langstaff plans to vote tomorrow for the first time in the general election. It's kind of like a, a social duty, you know. People have fought and died for our right to vote, and you know, so I feel like it's, you know, shouldn't waste that, you know. He's studying pre-engineering and physics. Langstaff says he would like to see more positive discussion between both sides. I feel like you can't really have a good discussion. Like I was, uh, I was in speech during high school, so I did uh, discussion. We'd all sit down and we'd try to solve a problem, and um, you know, I feel like us as high schoolers are doing a lot better than these professional politicians. Burke Psychos is 20 years old and says he doesn't plan on voting and has never done so. He says politics is something that doesn't interest him, mainly because it can be divisive. Some friends that have different opinions on it and I mean for me especially, it's like when you're meeting a new person, if they have a super strong political view or something like that, sometimes it can change what you see them. And so for me, I just generally haven't had a strong opinion and don't really form any. Psychos also says he doesn't vote because he doesn't want to make an uneducated decision. In Austin, I'm Sterl Kure, KMT News 3. According to recent polling, including by the Youth Electoral Significance, those ages 18 to 29 can make a significant dif difference and could impact who actually wins the presidency. The 